Hi, I hope that you are all doing well. Thank you so much for joining me here today where we are going to explore acids and bases and learn what pH is. And pH is something that you can measure with an indicator, either a solution or a strip. We're going to make our own indicator today, an indicator solution. I'm going to tell you how I made the indicator that we'll use today and then we will use it to decide if things are acids or bases or neutral. So the pH scale goes up to about 12. Anything from 12 to 7 is a base. And a base is a substance that turns our indicator solution a blue, a yellow, or a green, and it also is something that generally tastes bitter and is something that generally feels slippery. From pH 4 to 7 are neutral solutions and under 4 they're acids. So acids are substances that will turn the pH solution red or violet and they generally have a sour flavor. So if you can think of things that you'd normally associate as being sour, those things are probably acids. So let's see how we make the indicator solution. To make the indicator solution, I used two things. I used a red cabbage and I used distilled water. The procedure for making the solution is pretty straightforward. I chopped up the red cabbage and put it in my large glass bowl. Then I got distilled water. I boiled about a quart of it and I poured that over the red cabbage, let that soak until the solution was cool. From that I got this purple liquid which we are going to use as our indicator solution. So to do that we'll need a couple things. We need the indicator solution. a couple eyedroppers, some plastic cups, and some substances to test. So I have vinegar, lemon juice, water that I've dissolved baking soda in, and some antacid. The first thing we're going to do is take some distilled water and make our antacid because it's going to be easier to test the substance as a liquid instead of trying to test the solid. Well, that's bubbling away. Let's test some of the other substances. So let me get a better view for you. I've also got a measuring cup here. see what happens. Okay, so it started off as a dark purple color, but you can see that it's starting to change colors now. I'm going to stop the camera and get you at a better angle. We're going to keep adding more drops. And it's gone a lighter purple. Swirl it around a little more. Now it's kind of a rosy pink. It's 
still a rosy pink. Still a rosy pink. So we're left. Let's do that. So the vinegar turns the indicator a rosy pink. If we bring over the color strip, we can see that the rosy pink is about right there. So vinegar is definitely an acid. Let's set that on the side. Let's give something else a try. And when you use, when you're using these, you're going to want to rinse it out with distilled water or use a different one for the next substance that you test. So I'm going to use this one, the baking soda water. So I'm going to just put that in there, grab some baking soda water, pour that in. If you look, it's a purple color again. Let's see what the baking soda water does. So let's add drops. Still purple. Speeding up the process here. Still purple. Still purple. Still purple, but going a little more to the blue side, maybe. Let's add some more. There, I just added a whole bunch of it to speed up the process. And it's definitely blue now. So, the baking soda solution is a base. And yes, there's a little piece of cabbage floating in there. What should we try next? Let me rinse out my two dispensers. I'll... Let's give lemon juice a try. So we've got our two tablespoons of the indicator solution. The bottle of lemon juice is really hard to open, but I think I got it. Let's put some lemon juice in there and lemon juice is beautiful yellow color. So, Let's take what we know about lemon juice and decide what we think it's going to be, an acid or a base. Oh yeah, I guess I forgot to bring this out for the baking soda water. So the blue is a base. Okay, take what you know about lemon juice and decide if you think that lemon juice is an acid or a base. Let's get started. Still purple. It's gone to the pink side now. Still pink.
So lemon juice, which you probably already guessed, is an acid. Let's compare the two. Let's compare our two acids. So two more tablespoons of the indicator solution. I've got kefir, which is a milk product. It's kind of like a cross between yogurt and milk. It is a thinner yogurt drink. So let's see what happens with that. later. Later still. So, acid. We've had three that are acids, and that's the lemon juice, the vinegar, and the kefir. So let's do one more thing. Let's take the vinegar and see what happens if we add our base to it. And here we go. Let's try adding a little more. So I emptied some of it into this cup and it seems a little more purple than it was. So let's keep going and see if that changes anything. So it has gone back to purple. So we used the base to neutralize the acid. So with the pH, we had something that was an acid. We added something that was a base and they neutralize each other and we end up with a neutral substance. So what did we discover today? We discovered that some substances are acids, some substances are bases, and some substances so, and some substances are neutral between an acid and a base. We learned that we can take an acid, take a base, combine them, and they will work to neutralize one another. I hope that you enjoyed exploring pH. And I hope that you will give it a try. It is a time-consuming thing to chop up all the cabbage and let it soak with the boiling water and then let that cool and then use your solution. But it's well worth it to interact with acids and bases and see how they work together. I will be back with more Explore and Create and of course book a video as well. I hope that you will join me then. And until then, I hope that you continue to use your curiosity to explore the world and your creativity to improve it. And thank you.